Hey everyone, so it's day three post-op and I've written a little list of stuff to talk about because some stuff went down since the last vlog I filmed so obviously as you can tell I'm out of hospital now. We were discharged at like I think three o'clock yesterday and we came back to our hotel which is the Sea Pearl Villa. It's really nice so Ainsley's back there <laughs> and yeah we're together again so it's way better like being able to heal together and relax together and just you know all that kind of stuff. So yesterday I was a bit concerned about how it was going to feel taking out the drip needles and the waist needles and everything. Um, I didn't think it was too bad, I just kind of breathed in and out really really big and deep and I couldn't really feel it. They just kind of slid straight out and it wasn't near as bad as putting them in. How did you find it? Um, one was easy, one got a bit stuck and it was quite tender. Um, the drip didn't hurt coming out really. Yeah. Just kind of stung. So hers, yeah, one got a little bit stuck. But I just felt a bit, I felt a bit crook after. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Ainsley got a couple fevers yesterday and I got one in the afternoon, like not long before I was getting discharged, so they just gave me some pills and that brought it down really, really quickly. So we got home and we pretty much had a big nap and then after the nap I sat up and, sorry my arms are really sore, um, I had like this really big hot flash and I went and lay down on the bathroom floor because I thought I was going to spew and like you know this tile so it helped me cool down and I started getting really hot flashes I Ainsley went and got me some of my pills that they gave me to take home and like literally like four minutes after I took those pills I felt so much better so they were a lifesaver and we've got a ton of drugs that we have to take like painkillers and stuff which every single time we take them we kind of feel really really drowsy and um like kind of sick but they're not terrible terrible just like a little bit of a sore stomach someone asked me what size and everything I got and I forgot to mention what shape and what kind of implants I got so I got 325cc round implants and under the muscle oh and I got um silicone because our doctor recommended it he was amazing um, our surgeon I'm going to talk all about like the process of it in a different video like what happened and everything but basically we went in there and our surgeon just started straight from the beginning by showing us the powerpoint of all the risks and like all the commonly asked questions and just everything and it was amazing and like we had like barely any questions to ask after that he like covered it all so um it's really odd because we noticed like squishy noises and like squeaking when we move our arms and stuff like that and it must be like the fluid in our mm -hmm. boobs and it's really awkward and it's kind of like eh, eh, which is really gross um Oh, he, has to he told us not to start massaging them right away because he wants us to take the stitches out first, that's on Saturday. But what he started to tell us to do is just lift up our arms as far as we can just to relax the muscles a bit so that they heal, like the muscles heal better. I did notice a couple more stretch marks on my boobs. I already had some because of how I put on weight, lost weight. My boobs had already like shrunk so I had some stretch marks. So I've got a couple more so I just put some jojoba oil on them. Both of us are feeling really 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 bloated. I don't know if it's like you guys might know. Um, do you know if it's from the drip and like all the medication and everything? Like I have a feeling it might just be all the pills that we're taking just causing us to bloat up hard out. Like we're just like really really chubby at the moment. Our tummies are just like really squishy it's really funny someone asked me about breastfeeding and yeah we can still breastfeed um, that's fine I've been really really itchy where all the plasters and everything were um, it started to go away like recently but yeah like just where all the like plasters and stuff and where the brass sits on you quite itchy like I don't know what it is maybe just the seams of the bras and everything I think that's pretty much it so today we went for a walk around Thailand for a couple hours and we we're really concerned because we were real sweaty like heaps of sweat down our boobs and we didn't know if it was going to be bad or not for them so we came back and just hung out by the pool and we haven't put our breasts like into the pool because of chlorine and everything but we did just go up to like our waist um so we're going to ask the doctor about swimming and stuff like that on Saturday the pain today is really not that bad it's more aching like every single day it just gets less and less pain it's just an aching feeling like pressure like someone's been lying on your chest um, falling asleep last night was a little bit difficult at first, me and Ainsley both experienced it, like um, you'd start falling asleep but then you'd kind of wake up because your chest was just like really heavy and like it was almost like you skipped a breath because like you just find it so hard to breathe in and out, it's really bizarre like just all the pressure and we kind of just propped ourselves up on heaps of pillows and we're okay um, and once I did get to sleep I had a really really good sleep and we had a full sleep like I think we went to bed about 10 o'clock and we woke up at about 7am. I think that's about it for today so yeah we're up and about now and feeling really good just a little bit nauseous after the pills and just aching a bit but really good so thank you all maybe so much. Do, hmm? Maybe do a boob Q&A. 
yeah um if you have any questions like for anything to do with like this whole process just leave them down below and i'll go through them tomorrow's in tomorrow's checkup um so i guess i'll show you so this is what they look like right now my tummy is really 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 like bloated but you can see they look quite huge still and they have almost like a funny cone shape to them at the moment me and Ainsley both notice like where like our actual breast on top is a little bit swollen but that should go down as the healing comes along but yeah they look really really big <laughs> I'm not used to them and they're obviously gonna um, like shrink down a bit when they heal and drop as I can um, massage them and everything and I tried on a dress today size 8 dress still fit it um, they look like that from side on and that from the front and I can still fit my same bikinis and everything so um, I'll probably do a bikini shot maybe tomorrow so you can see but I just hope you'll keep in mind that this isn't how they're gonna look at the in the end because even for me at the moment they're like whoa like really big and swollen and tender like I just I'm really excited for when I can massage them and you know make them look a bit more natural and drop and reduce in size a little bit so i hope i covered everything um thank you all for the support and everything you've given me it's been amazing reading all your messages on facebook and instagram and twitter and youtube and everything um thank you so so much and ainsley said thank you as well she saw a few comments saying you know wishing her well and everything so that's really amazing um make sure you leave any questions down below and i'll talk to you again tomorrow check up on you tomorrow